How are you all doing? Uh, in this video we're going to be sorting out the engine on the CBR1000F landfill bike. Basically we're just going to be getting the engine back into one piece. So let's get cracking. Okay then, so I'm starting on the uh, cylinder head first. Bring you around this way. Uh, I've done all the inlet valves, they've all been done, ground, grinding and whatever you want to call it, just using the uh, grinding paste. Uh, got these two done, that one's done but this one I'm still grinding. Yeah, you can probably see the grinding paste on it there. And this is what they look like before I clean them up. So it is a very, very tedious and long process. So leave me with that and I'll be back when I'm probably on the last one. Right, so I know I said I'd be back when I got to the uh, last valve, but uh, I've gotten pretty bored of just doing it now, so I've had enough. So basically I've got this cylinder all done and I've just filled it up with some white spirits and I'll come back in the morning and pray that that's still in the same place and it hasn't gone down. There, it looks pretty good at the minute, it's not uh, going down or anything, so that one's looking good. Okay, so this is the next day. Just getting the fire going. Uh, it was it was two o'clock yesterday afternoon when I actually poured this white spirit into there, and as you can see, pretty impressive. So I'm well happy with that, so I'll be back when I've done the other six. Right then, so that's all the valves done, apart from one, which I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so first we need to turn this valve into something looking like this one. All I did was put that in there very loosely and did it with a wire brush attachment. I know it's a very stupid way to do it, but that's why it's called the landfill bike. Making do with what we've got. Okay then, so basically we're now we've got the valve nice and clean. Just need to pop it in. It's quite a tight fit, so that's good. Push it down to as far as we can with keeping hold of it. And then give it a wiggle. See if you can feel any play. And there's no play, so that's all good. Uh, perhaps before you do this, you might want to look down the shaft and make sure it's not bent in any way and that looks perfectly straight yes definitely not bent so next we just get a bit of <coughs> grinding paste put it around the lip of the valve like so, you don't need too much. Pop it back in. And we've got a suction stick like that. Stick that on the valve. Red stick. <laughs> we've got another one of these. 
just stick it on the valve like so. And then just give it a few spins. And then and then lift it, move it and a few more turns, lift it, move it round. A few more turns, lift it, move it round. A few more turns, lift it, move it round. A few more turns. It may keep falling off like that, but fuck it. Uh, let's see if we can get you in a bit lower. I'll just keep doing that for four days. Check it. Clean your paste off. Get two pairs of supersonic glasses on. And check round the edge. And I don't know if you can see, but that one is still pretty terrible. What we need to do is get like a nice grey dull colour all the way around. So I've got lots of work to do so let me keep grinding this and I'll bring it back when it looks how it's supposed to look. Okay so we've got the uh, valve collar nice and smooth and the valve you could see that it's a nice grey colour, no deep pits or anything nasty. So now all we've got to do is refit the valve. So all, so all I'm doing is dipping it in engine oil. Just the tip and then letting it run down. And then dropping it into the valve seat. Turn the cylinder head over. <coughs> Trust me to show you how I do it on the artist valve, which is these four corner valves. Those two and those two are the artist valves to do. Obviously, these central ones are more easier because there's more space. So now there's two collar washers, what we've got to insert first. So first we've got the small, that one. Doesn't matter which orientation you put it in, I think you just drop it in over the valve. Try and get the, uh, tap it out of the way. Then uh, drop your washer. place and then we have a larger flat washer for the spring to rest on make sure that's sitting correctly then we have the two springs the inner and the outer uh, the tightly winded end should be down into the engine first but there is a like a reddy colour on the top of the springs so if there's red on the top you know that's the top so drop that one in first no nope. hang on a minute first we've got to put the uh, valve seal on and hopefully I've got one left in my set oh yes there it is I do just dab mine in the oil and uh, I know you can't see much from my big hand in the way. Just push that. Just push that onto the uh, valve. And 
even though the valve dropped through that it should be nicely in then the seal should be nicely in line just to pop on there we go, did you hear the little click? push the valve back through and we can put the springs on red bit at the top or brown bit see with that one and we want the collar and just uh, plop the collar on the top and then we can use our ridiculously funky spring compressor and here it is da -da 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 no expense spared on this build Find the valve underneath. Give it a better position. Hopefully, you can see that a bit better. Then we need our collets uh, or keepers or whatever you want to call them. And I'll just use a uh, magnetised screwdriver to try and put them into place. And then another un unmagnetised, which somehow gets magnetised anyway, to try and move it in position so it drops in. Here we go. That's that one in. And uh, same with the other one. I think I'm going to have to whittle this, this tool about so the spring moves, so hopefully it'll drop in. to do also is just get a socket put it over the top collar give it a tap to make sure it's nice and springy and that's perfect okay then so final step for each cylinder there is four of this lot uh, I'm just going to show you one cylinder obviously Okay, so firstly there are the four little dowels. Just plump them in, make sure they go all the way down. And the last one. And then we have these uh, V-shaped things. I don't know if you can see just there, but that says up. So we will put that one on top that way. Like so put the little tappets into the grooves. Same with this one, it says up there, so stick it that way. Make sure they're seated properly. Put 
tuppets into place. Okay, then we can put on our little weird tap it holding gizmo thing. And just insert all the four bolts. One, two, three, four. That's too big, it's not 10 mil is it? And we could uh, tighten them down with our 10 millimeter spanner. And I believe these are nine newton meters, but don't hold me to that because I'm just guessing from memory. And that's it. Okay, then we can insert these four little dowels with the new seals. New seal, and they go just there. Do this end. I'll do that end. I'll show you. Well, don't really need to show you how to put them in, but you know, <laughs> what you do is put it there, push it down, get your new seal, put it on the top, and there you go. Same with that one. Put the new seal on and same at the other end. And I think for the cams, that's it. So simple as that. Yes, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been useful to you. And uh, any questions or tips, please leave a comment down below. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video. Look after yourself, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I see you in another life, brother.